All right, we should be recording now. Uh, welcome everyone to a surprise. Well, all episodes are surprise episodes nowadays. That has that that has to be a bad sign, right, Cesar? Uh, it does seem that way. Schedules have been not lining up so well at least recently. Yeah, they they really haven't. They really haven't. I have a couple of excuses, uh, like a new job, etc. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bring them up. It is what it is. Uh, but I'm really <clears throat> happy you could join me, Cesar. Dream was supposed to join us as well, but she had better friends to hang out with. <laughs> So, um, you know, I'm not bitter. True, What's been going true. on uh, with you lately? Have you been enjoying the game? Um, I mean, for the most part, yes. Uh, the game has been having some issues lately. You know, we always have good with the bad on, on Global, or on Brave XPS, period, I should say. Yeah. But it's been, yeah. it's been overall good. Yeah, and you, I feel like you bounced back from the whole cheater incident uh, as well. Like, a lot of people, not just you, of course, thought that was really shitty. Oh, yeah, it was, it was handled extremely poorly by Gumi, in yeah. my opinion. But we are back, and, and, and I, I wanted to talk about two things uh, in this episode we were just talking before we started recording. Uh, I want to talk about the new units, obviously. Uh, they are really a, a really big deal. Um, even though I feel like we're not hyping units now, or or maybe it's just me, but I feel like we're not hyping units as much as we did in the past. You know, like when everyone was like, "Oh, you have to pull Hyo, or you have to pull this unit or that unit." That's really not happening, which is weird because I feel Rain is one of those units. How how do you feel about him? Um, Rain right now is definitely a very high value pull target. Uh, he'll be good in Dark Visions going forward. Well, he should be. You know, you... Then again, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. Oh. Because we do know that you know, in the JP order, the next Dark Visions in line is Phoenix. And Phoenix is very pro-Riku. Um, and Rain does nothing for Riku teams. So it's actually going to be pretty useless in Dark Visions, at least actually... for the next month. Do we have like who Riku is lightning? She is. Um, yep. Zach is due like within two weeks or so, so Zach should be out. And but even if Zach is not out and Riku has no leader skill, Phoenix is a boss where it's not like well Riku may or may not counter enough. It's like no, Riku is going to counter way more than enough. Like this is a boss where you're going to counter twenty four plus times. Oh, so. Shit. Even without a leader skill, Riku is probably going to be the best choice, even versus leader skill unit. I can't say that for certain, but but even so, Zach should be out regardless, unless Gumi just heavily delays him, which is possible, right. but un unlikely. Right, right, right. Yeah, and another thing to consider, I would say, is also the Clash of Wills is a category of unit, and we are due a new Clash soon, which, you know, <laughs> if, if there's a rain coming in with 500% um, FFB leader skill, right? That, that's why Rain is hyped. Mm -hmm. um, then what if, you know, we get a 600% cow unit only leader skill? That that would not be beyond Gumi to do. Like, I mean, because it would technically be like a morale ability. It's definitely, definitely possible. Um, we do know from the live stream that Dwayne only has a 300 leader skill and he is our next class unit. So if that does happen, it won't be before May. But, um, yeah. Okay, we, so we then, then Rain still has a bit of shelf life. I missed Duane news entirely because I've been oh. I've had zero di time to follow uh, follow the game. But uh, but okay, um, that's that's I mean that's in a way positive though because because I was really afraid of the power creep they would feel like they had to do. A and besides, I've always said I would enjoy a bit more intermingling between cow and and non cow. Um, not too much, because I, I enjoy that there are morale abilities and things that are only relevant in Clash of Wills. That, that's pretty interesting. But um, I, I feel like there should be more, you know, more incentive for me to bring a non-cow unit to cow at times. Although, I mean, who am I to say? Like, I've been bringing Regina to all cow, like the past five cows or something, so. Yeah, but all th at this point, though, you can basically call Rain a cow unit, because he got some heavy upgrades that really make him very good in Clash of Wills. And he, he got the Clash of Wills tag and all that. Oh, wait, he did? Oh, wow, I've missed so much. So he, he got the cloud treatment? He, he got some morale upgrades? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, he got more than that. 
He oh. got the Clash of Wills tag. He got morale scaling for his LB. He got morale scaling for his primary chain skill. He got a special unique cooldown that does all kind of buffs in Clash of Wills. I'm actually Magnus, not cooldown. And he got uh, one an auto cash is for free. 1,000 morale fill per turn as a complete passive. What the fuck? But that oh, sounds he, really strong. It really does. Oh, yeah. okay. Okay. Okay, wow. So, uh, I mean, I thought he was a must pull before. <laughs> uh, holy shit. So he is the, 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 the Clash of Wills leader, really, because, like, there are no... I mean, there are only a handful of Clash of Wills units that are not FFB units, and I'm thinking of Nier. Are, are there any others, really? Um, Laura Croft, but funnily enough, she is fire, so even though she's not FFBE, she still qualifies for range Ooh. leader skill. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. All right, all right. Okay, that's, that's, that's really interesting. That is really, really interesting. Um, okay, very cool. So Rain got some heavy upgrades then, and he's going to be... Honestly, like most people have been saying, he's a must pull, and and I've been such an idiot because I've been, you know, I I've I actually tried saving for rain. I had like almost ten k <laughs> lapis at one point, and then you know, this game just fucks you up. Okay, so I was I was I was saving. I had ten k lapis, and then I just pulled one Riku off of the ten daily, uh, the the daily ten pull, right? So I'm like, okay, but I can't pull just one Riku, right? <laughs> I have to have her at a, at a decent EX level, because that, that sprite is amazing. So I basically spent all my Lapis on the Riku banner. I got three Rikus and one Laswell, though, so that, that's pretty impressive for 10k Lapis. Wait, which, which Riku? You mean, like, mm. Berserker Riku? Sorry, not new Riku. Um, uh, Roka, Roka, Roka. Oh, oh you, might, you pulled for her? What? Well, uh, well, I, I thought her sprite was so cool. Like, like she reminds me of of, oh, of Terra God. riding uh, a Magitek armor, and she has skills that sound very similar. And the sprite is really cool. I actually used her in this DV as well uh, on several runs, just playing around. Um, I like her. <laughs> well, and I did get a last well, which also helped me do my highest scoring run, which was with Regina. Well, that's cool. That's yeah. cool. So, but but yeah, I did pull for her. I, I, now I feel bad because I could have had those 10k lapis to at least have a chance at rain. Now there's no chance it's going to be raining. No chance. Yes. But it is what it is, you know? Hey, may, may, maybe it's good for me. Like, I realized that I've never gone through a period of FFB without meta units. Because they've always landed in my lap in some way. In, in some way by using my credit card mostly but you know in some way they've always landed in my lap maybe maybe it would be good for me to go through a period of ffb without having like the absolute meta it could be but i personally am not entirely sure if i'm going to go for rain as good as he what? is though because it's 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 a, it's always a little concerning I mean, I, I get he's not your type, okay, okay, but like, I mean, he's a good unit. Oh, he's an amazing unit. He's an extremely amazing unit, but that's what makes me concerned, because every time Gumi does this, every single time they have done this in the past, lots of times, like two weeks later, here comes a just as amazing thing times two. Like, to the next level. That is true, but you so. kind of said it. Dwayne is coming, and we know he has 300% leader skills. So so how are they going to, you know, how are they going to top this? I, it's I, probably I, not going to be Dwayne, honestly, because Dwayne was pretty pretty well previewed on the stream, and it seems like Dwayne, um, now we don't know his damage. His damage may be god tier. I have no idea. But his right. leader skill is bad. Um, his, the stuff they showed in the kit was kind of like, you know, decent, but whatever. Um, I think it's going to be something that comes after Range Banner closes. That, that's how they do it. So Range Banner is open for three weeks. So for the next three weeks, Rain's going to be God. Yeah, but and then I feel like on week number four, here comes the Rain Killer. That's but, what but I feel who, like. Who would be the surprise? We kind of know what's coming. It would be we... the, the Clash Unit of May, whoever it is. Ah, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that could be the 600% <laughs> Clash mm -hmm. leader. Sure. Yeah. Sure. That's what I'm. I'm very concerned about. No, I get that. I get that. But you know, you know, you're. I want to say, Sinzar, you need to take a bit more risk. This is coming from somebody that only takes risk in this game. <laughs> but like, you know, you can't be saving those uh, uh, unit of choice tickets. You can't be saving those crowns. You know, you you have to you have to go for it at some point. 
Well, I did use some galvanite for dark visions. How's that? Ooh, me too, actually. I, I me too. Well, only for Ifrit though. But yeah. Um, okay. Well, I mean, let's let's. So I, I wanted to talk both about leader skills in general. Just just you know, recap like what does the game feel like right now that 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 we're in it. But let's let's first just go over the units since we've been talking so much about them. Can I just say? before we start, that both Reigns and Fina's sprites are absolutely gorgeous. Oh, for sure. Yeah, the, sprite, the sprites are real good. I mean, Rain looks amazing. Uh, all, like, detailed, really cool. Fina looks thick as fuck. Like, I don't know what she's been eating, but like, holy shit, she has gone through a transformation compared to her other sprites, so that's also really weird. I mean, I'm not complaining, but like, she looks... Like, do you agree she looks different? good i was actually having this conversation with a friend the other day um it's not really my style of preferred unit you know i i, I like more like the the actual heavy armor type stuff like that like uh but she looks she looks good like her bow looks really cool i like her bow it but it does it looks amazing it has these like three flares and stuff like wow but if, oh. if you if you look if you look closely at fina like it looks like she just walked out of the video of like let's get physical with uh <laughs> yeah, yeah. Does, or, or she does. was like doing a gym tiktok and then she joined then she just took her bow and decided to fuck shit up yeah so like how is that the outfit of like a general or whatever i guess she's dead. no i agree i agree general. okay th that's actually a bit silly cuz look at fucking rain okay look at rain he has like he has his whole like half skirt shit going on like big heavy armor gems inset like he's ready to take a blow or two right mm -hmm. pun intended but uh <laughs> fina like she 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 just got out of the fucking gym she will not be taking any blows you know <laughs> like she is really you know vulnerable i feel like and, and that's mm -hmm. that's a bit weird they could have at least given her like the the first roberta treatment which is kind of like girly armor <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 I don't know if you remember that, like the little armored skirt, which was really mm -hmm. ridiculous. But yep. she has nothing. Although I, I'm not going to complain. I still think the sprite is really cool. It I is, think it, it looks it really good. Does. Both of them are really detailed and really well made. Mm -hmm. I agree. Okay. So we've already gone over Rain a bit. Like some of his big things are that um, he is only semi element locked, right? Like because he actually can do damage with other elements. Yeah, um, he, well, well, his his global upgrade gave him a a full power absolute, um, you know, chain that is non elemental. So he is he he can go completely any element you want. All right, and it's gonna be as strong as his LB. Uh, the first five turns, his LB is slightly better because of the turn five mod boost. After turn six, his LB is actually worse than his uh, morale morale chain. Okay. All right. All right. So, so his LB is slightly better. Would you be wearing like um, cool smile on him? No. Uh, no, because actually his LB, it, it's the way they did it was the same way they did Cloud. The LB itself is not touched, so it's not a morale scaling oh, LB. Okay, okay. So it won't work. It does work with uh, his his Titus passive. You don't need the gear, but the same passive that does yeah. work for him. Yeah. But the way they mod buffed it is it's an auto-casted mod buff per turn. So he uh, does scale with morale, but it doesn't interact directly with the LB. So therefore, things like Cool Smile will not work. Melissa cannot buff it, etc. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Um, okay, so so that's super promising. That's also really good. Uh, I, I was typing in chat yesterday. I, I was having this weird debate just with myself, actually, because nobody was fucking answering. But uh, <laughs> uh, of of who you would bring for a Regina team, because previously it was so that you know you have Laswell, he has three hundred percent leader skill, and then you have Rain, who has five hundred percent, but wouldn't maybe contribute to the ice damage himself, right? Like he would just be a stat stick. But however, now he is just superior in every way. Which is a bit sad, because I also liked Laswell's sprite, and I like Laswell well, a lot like a unit, so, yeah. Actually, Ice is one of his four supported elements anyway, even from JP. He, he actually could, he, he, he always could do Ice. Yeah, he could do Ice, but, but I was just not sure if he was going to out-damage Laswell on Ice, because, Las, I mean, Laswell is really, really strong. I remember looking at your sheet, and basically he is still going to be the strongest unit, like in some, in some, like with the Rain Leader skill or some shit? I don't remember. Uh, I think it's 3,500 modifier um, for ice on rain. And then with the better leader skill, 
Uh, so that's e that's equal to about a 500 XLB. So yeah, rain would out damage last well on ice. Oh, he would. Okay. okay. Oh, but he wouldn't have one one fifty amplifier, so he wouldn't have a good amp. So actually, maybe he wouldn't. Because okay. last one has the one one. I don't know. Um, but rain's definitely better for the party as a whole. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, inter anyway, very interesting unit, very interesting upgrades that he got as well. Um, you're going to have to get EX2. As you might have mentioned that. I, I don't know if you did, but like for the 1,000 morale fill every turn. Mm -hmm. uh, so the thing is, it seems like all the morale stuff is locked behind EX2. Is that true? Yes, his like nearly entire kit is locked behind the EX2. His Omnikiller... Right. His his Warren Spirit, the flat stats, all the morale stuff, his 150 amplify, every single one of those is EX2 locked. So, so. the EX0 rain is basically a stat stick then. He does still buff the party completely fine at EX0 because his leader skill is unaffected. But um, yeah, for his personal damage, it, it definitely wants EX, minimum EX1, but EX2 far preferred. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. And is he a, a true dual wield or true dual hand? Uh, dual wield, yes. So, so this one you always want to dual wield because he does have the 8x cap. So dual wield is just flat out superior in every scenario. Wow, 8x cap. Like I know we were talking about this so long ago and it's like, it's here. It's so weird. Mm hmm. Yep. So um, let's talk about Fina then because I feel like we've talked a lot about Rain and, and, and I'm going to like, Unfortunately, assume um, that um, Fina is a troll unit. Is that true? I mean, she's not as good as Rain. If you're pulling on the banner and you get Fina, you are gonna feel bad. But she's a good unit overall. She's 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 definitely you know decent as a support. Really? So what what? Mm -hmm. So so she's a healer and buffer as as roles. Um, but she seems to have a damaging SLB. Uh. I mean, she does a little bit of damage, but not really, honestly speaking. Like, I mean, yeah, that, that's what, what surprised me because, like, you know, support units usually don't have a damage LB. They usually have like a buff or some shit. I don't know. I guess it's okay. She's got like she's, she's got a four hundred and thirty X modifier. She gets like she gets over ten K spirit before leader skills. Okay. Um, so I mean, it's gonna do more than like Sylvia or Melissa are gonna do, which is something, I guess. Yeah, but like but you, you just you just can't compare her to like a real damage dealer. And and when would you like? I I see that she also has the hundred percent amp for a single unit as well, but that also feels like is that all? Um. Well, she has that. She has the full immunity. She's got killers to a whole bunch of races. Uh, she can perfect cure your party. Uh, she's really good for filling the LB gauge for the entire party. Um. You know, she feels mana. She's, you know, like what I, what I said before is uh, she is like basically the cream of the crop of JP supports. Like you're not going to find a better support unit from the JP side. Right, now, right. global supports still beat Fina easily, easily. And she is free if or not, not free. She's very expensive, but she's guaranteed if you do the rain shard step up. Yes, that is almost like a consolation prize. Just because that step up doesn't give progress towards pity, uh, it does cost 30k. So if you want Fina specifically, it's a 30k pity, so to speak, which is pretty good, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you want Fina, but I've seen a lot of people saying she's like a free perk along the way with Rain. I mean, depending on how you want to phrase it, I guess you could say that. I well, would definitely say like she's this. more like a consolation prize. This is how I would put it. If you're like me and you never save for pity, and you don't expect having pity for rain, then I would say that banner is the, or that step up is the best one to pull, because at least you're going to get some rain shards on the way that you might use to, you know, EX1 him if you shitter him off banner at some point. But if you have, you know, enough for pity, you should not be pulling on this banner. You should be pulling on the pa banner that gives you pity tickets, because obviously you want rain. Yeah, it, it really depends on your 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 willingness to risk like the shard step up banner is obviously way higher quality if you get a copy of rain yeah because then you're getting for 30k you're getting the you're getting 50 shards and 50 shards are equivalent to a copy of rain at pity yeah but if you don't get the rain you're walking home with 50 useless shards so basically you do the daily temple you get a rain <laughs> 
you do the FINA step up, basically. Yes. So that would be how I would recommend you do it. So basically, I did the same thing on the Ibarra banner. I went to the Ibarra banner. I used tickets only. And after I got myself Ibarra, you know, one ticket later, I mm -hmm. then went to the fragment step up because I had the Ibarra. I would never have gone to that fragment step up as a first option because, right. like I said, if you walk away with nothing, you just blew 30K for absolutely nothing. Right, right, right. Yeah. No, absolutely. So I, I would I would never rec like I'm not even sure me who doesn't have enough for step up would pull on that banner just because it's also a bit more expensive than just the Reigns discounted step up summon. Um, like if you look at the amount of pulls you get, you do get a guaranteed NV, but a guaranteed NV is about as worth as a toothy blowjob. So, you know, like when are we going to get a better EX pull? Honest honestly. Yes, uh, the past like month and a half have completely burned me on uh, EX NVs. Like, yeah, I've gotten like three fucking Yunas. Do you know how bad it feels to get a fucking NV Rain or a Yuna as a as a as a random NV when you know everyone got them to EX three for free? That's so stupid. Yep, I used um, 120 tickets for Ibarra on the final day because I wanted to get her to EX three quicker. With 120 tickets, I got one red crystal. It was Neovision's Onion Knight. And I'm being dead serious. Sean's in the chat saying, you know, screw Onion Knight. I literally got Onion Knight, one copy and 120 tickets. I was, I was so, so frustrated. Yeah, I get that. I get that. I, I uh, like, I mean, I even showed this. I, I, I mentioned this on a recent podcast. Was I, I showed this quite a while back that by the, like, I think that already by the time NVs had been out for one year, the power creep had been so great between the lowest unit and the highest unit in, in the NV space that by the, the time the power creep was that big in the seven star era, we already had a pool cleaning, right? Mm -hmm. which, is, which is really weird. And now we're even further. Like, like imagine, imagine fucking NV Reigns damage, all right? Compared to this Reigns damage. I mean, it, it's colossal. You get a random NV and you get Rain, that's. Honestly, there are seven stars that are better than that. Like, there are seven <laughs> stars I would rather get. Yeah. For sure. That's so weird. That is, that is so incredibly weird. And, and, and I, I think that we are so do either that or, or some type of cleanup where, you know, they, people have mentioned that on-banner pulls should not be able to pull the entire pool, maybe just six months back or some shit. That wouldn't even be good enough, though, right? Like, tell me a unit from six months back. Uh, six months back, like a good unit, um, a good unit, or just like a bad unit. Whoever, whoever you can think of, I just, I just can't think of a unit from six months back. Uh, Paladin Cecil. Okay, fuck, that's a good example because you <laughs> still want to yeah, get him. <laughs> I, I said you want good or bad. That's the good one. Okay. Yeah, okay. Bad so, one? So, but but then that means six uh, months is okay. Six months is okay. Six months would be like a decent Corley. decent time frame to jump back. There you go. Coralie. What? Or... Coralie was six months? Well, he's more than that. Yeah, okay. He's more than that. Exactly. So, so you definitely don't want Coralie. You want Pal and Cecil. So, you know, six months would maybe then be, a, it, you know, be an interesting cutoff. But, but they're not doing that. They're not giving us, you know, shards of choice or units of choice. I would love to transform my Onion Knights and Yunas and Reigns into like a 10 to 1 ratio for somebody else's shards. Honestly, like I would fucking take 10 to 1. All right. Because like, fuck, these units are useless. Mm -hmm. and, and and there are also some units that never got, like, any justice. Like, you know, units like Maeve that you could still pull, and you're like, yeah, but what the fuck am I going to use this unit for? That everyone was super hyped about, I remember, when she came out. And Gumi, then she had one DV. Gumi absolutely hates upgrading units. Like, I don't understand it. Why? why? Yeah. Do we get, like, one upgrade per year, and it's either hit or miss if it's even good or not. Like, you know, we used Coralie. As the example, like the worst possible meme example, well, guess what? JP recently upgraded Coralie to be halfway decent. I'm being I, serious. Like, but that, that's what I would like everything. to see. Although, although, to be fair, I feel like that just recently happened with Dark Fiend and Soul. Like, I think they got a lot of, like, or I don't think they got enough hype for their crown upgrades. I mean, they're not OP or anything at all, but, but that was actually a decent upgrade. I, I can see myself bringing them to an Earth team together with the new Roka. I guess the, the thing I would say to that is, why are we bringing an Earth team to anything? <laughs> because I have Roka, 
and I want a user. <laughs> that's that's how it works. Uh, I guess. But yeah, uh, I, I do hope we get a bit more unit upgrades, especially for some of the old fan favorites. Like, what happened to the uh, um, to the fucking uh, what did they call them? The the materia that upgrades units like shit in in cow. Uh, intrinsics. Yeah, did they stop? Oh yeah, they're 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 dead. We haven't gotten them in like four to five months. So they're like latents all over again. Then I guess. Mm -hmm. like I can't people... say that I'm super disappointed that intrinsic stopped just because they were a bad idea from the start. Like it was literally just crowns, but worse. Uh, but we should we should be getting crown upgrades instead. Yeah. True, true. Like it's not good to have too many upgrade systems. I agree with that. Um, we should be we should be getting crowns instead, but we should be getting these upgrades in the first place. Like I, I would like to see some upgrades to some of our older cow units that still haven't gotten upgrades. Did Roberta get anything? Um, nope, she's never gotten an upgrade. I would I'm love worried. to see her get upgraded. Yep. All right, all right. But but we've we've spoken a bit about the units. Uh, we know that there's a. Uh, um, w a normal event coming, and then there is this advent of purgatory coming. What is that? That's the the trial. We had the darkness trial last week. This is the fire version. Um, it's wait. We had a trial last week. Holy shit! Where have I been? Where have you been? Oh my I've god! I've been doing yeah. TV. But uh, wait, we had a darkness trial. Yeah, it's actually a lot more 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 of a trial than like the crappy twelve race stuff. Oh. It was like a real, real trial. Um, I say that, and then I built the team to totally global it and kill it on turn one. But uh, it was still, still a lot. Of, it's still a lot harder than uh, the stupid race. Yeah, trial. it's gonna be one of those things where you need Melissa, isn't it? I did use Melissa. You don't have yeah. to have her though. Uh, I my second clear did not use her and still got all missions. So you don't have to have her. Yeah, yeah. No, I just feel she's such a powerful unit. I've seen so many people just use Melissa. Uh, on on content i actually tried this db because i have all the other meta units like i have dio i have rain i have ibarra i have gilgamesh but not being able to bring melissa ruins the slot efficiency so i basically had to ruin my entire team just for dio to do damage proper damage mm. it was so it was such a weird feeling because i had to bring fucking you know renoa and dark fina Ooh. yeah but it is what it is. I, I guess. I guess Melissa. Melissa was that strong, which really sucks for me because I have all the other building blocks of a dark team. I just don't have Melissa. That's that's makes me sad. Maybe they'll do like one of those. Uh, what what is the, the cash bundles where you can choose a Neo Vision? I doubt it. Not for Melissa. She's too good. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I, I feel like we're kind of coming to an end, and also I need to I need to go back to work soon. But I thought I was going to wrap up with just a, a quick chat on um, the, you know, how the game feels now that leader skills are in. Because obviously now it should be clear to everyone that if you don't have a leader in the team, you're not playing the game right, right? This is like almost a new Envy rarity type shit, right? Yeah, for the most part, um, you know, the content is still very beautiful without leaders. For example, the the Purgatory Trial, like we just had, like I said. My yeah, second but that's, clear... that's what we said about seven stars when NVs first dropped as well. Like, yeah, you can still clear content with seven stars. Yeah, but uh, so you can still do it. Like, all, like my, my, my clear last week, the second clear had no leader at all, and it was still an all mission clear. So it's definitely still doable, but um, for any, any kind of ranked content, like Dark Visions, uh, you have to have a leader. Like yep. any, anyone, at, well, not rank one, but anyone that got all the milestones ha has a leader, a premium leader. Exactly. So, like, exactly. I, uh, or, 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 or I guess more specifically has fucking Ibarra or uh, has, has uh, I also feel like Melissa, I, I, didn't, I didn't see too many people getting the the full milestones without melissa either uh people have said that you can definitely do it with the right team um and i'm sure someone has but i personally you know didn't and uh, i i tried really i i don't know like i would love somebody to dm me you know if if you have done it without melissa just fucking dm me because i tried and there's like no way you can fit killers well, and 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 amps and well, fields no way yeah well, basically, you have to have links. Do you have links? 
No, I don't have Lynx. That, then you can't do it then. Yeah, because Lynx has a field and the killer for the party, and you replace Melissa with that because Lynx also deals damage. And yeah, oh, so you would have right. to have Lynx to, to make it work. Right. Without okay. either one, probably not. Yeah, without it, like, I mean, without it, my dark team did less damage than my ice team, which really surprised me because my I felt my dark team was stacked as fuck. But it did, it did less damage than my ice team due to the fact that it was much easier to build the ice team for Regina. So that's weird. Anyway, like, how do you feel about this? So we're going to get more leader units, obviously, right? So there's going to come a point where people will have a leader unit, right? Um, and we spoke a bit about this before, because, of course, leader units are a bit limited in what other units they buff. It's not as bad as I thought it would be, because I feel like Dio can still buff a lot of units other than Dark, and, and, and so can Laswo, and, and so on. Um, but my question is, how, li like, how shaping is this going to be to a person's roster or, or what they bring, right? Like, like, let's say you're like me. You're not going to shitter rain because there's no way I'm shittering rain. So I only have Dio, Ibarra, and Laswell as my leaders, right? Yeah. I realize I just said only, and I mentioned the two only premium leaders that are out right <laughs> now, but, but it's okay. Um, you know, how, how is that going to shape me as a player? What do you think? Am I going to be now chasing dark units only? What am I going to be doing? Um, that actually is the smart way to do it for the most part. Uh, in JP, I've got a bunch of leaders. Um, you know, I do have Zach. I do have Squall, um, et cetera. But honestly speaking, for the most content, I've just stuck with the dark team. Like, all my dark visions clears, even though I have Squall, I still I still go with a dark team because the dark team is just better. Like light is just a bad element in JP. Um, things right, like because I was gonna ask Squall, I'm a bit hyped for, but like only because there are the near girls. But are there any other units to look forward to in light? Not really. The next best is like Knights of Grand Shell with his crowns, and he's not even that great. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. That's yeah, but, the but then the thing there. is, like, who are you using in JP if you don't have Melissa? Though you're saying you're using a dark team, but like, who? Uh, well, for Beast, I, I would use um, the Fina. The Fina Dark Lineage. She has Beast Killer. Stuff like that. She has Beast like, Killer. Uh, no, she doesn't. Beast Killer. Yes, she does. Beast Killer. LB Bush. Doesn't she? I'm pretty sure she no, does. She should. No, no, yes, no way. Does. No way. That, that, I would feel so dumb if she has. Yes, 250 and then 160 AOE. Yes, she does. Wait, no, no. Motherfucker. Listen. <laughs> Dark Fina Asura, right? That's the Asura. No, 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 no. Fina Dark Lineage, the the, the 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 one coming out tomorrow. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, okay. I was about to feel really fucking <laughs> stupid there. Oh, okay, okay. So the 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 Fina coming out tomorrow actually yes. has uh, these. Okay, all right. All right. Yes, and and she goes on my teams pretty often in JP. Like I said, in JP, she's literally the best support in the game. So, right. Right. So okay. I use her in JP. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. Well, uh, well, I I'll probably stick with the dark team. I mean, it fits my edge lord theme as well. So uh, I, I guess I'm gonna try to keep buffing my dark team and then cry every time because I just don't have yeah. Melissa. Although to be fair, the biggest problem this this time around was that she was just so incredibly slot efficient for this particular DD. Mm. Anyway, but but okay, so 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 that this is kind of what it's gonna happen, right? So uh, I guess a lot of people are gonna pull Rain because he's obviously such a great unit. And those people are, are, are then going to be limited to either fire teams or FFBE teams, which is, I feel like, very unlimited, right? Like, you could bring, I mean, isn't Ibarra an FFBE unit, for instance? She is, and she'd she be buffed by rain. Or you can go with option three, like I'm going to do, probably. And, and just, just pull every care. leader? Nope, and just not care about dark visions, and just not have a team, and not give a damn. <laughs> Oh, come on. But Dark Visions is actually fun. Like, I, I again, this one, somebody in chat, I, uh, yeah, Sean said, like, uh, hot take, um, this DV format is better than the other one. Uh, I, I am inclined to agree, actually. I, I like this. I like the fact that there is a reward to fight towards, um, although I, I guess that a lot of other people are enticed by the fact that there is a rank one instead. No, I, I personally enjoy this this format as well. It, it, it is it is more fun because like you've got a clear goal. It's not just you know, uh, wallet wars or whatever. Yeah, and this is like this is the first DV in in at least a couple of DVs where I've done like clears with four or five different teams, just playing around and having fun. 
Um, so hey, I I, I enjoyed it, and, and I'm definitely gonna keep playing DV for sure. Uh, but uh, question is then, no, you know, uh, but 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 you get what I'm after, right? Like I I want to know, you know, how is this gonna change? Maybe the spending or even the playing patterns of people. One thing that's exciting to me is actually, you know looking at a DV, let's say two DVs from now, and then having people clear it with all bunch of different teams. No longer the one only team, right? But rather well, like, hey, I used fire, I used ice, I used fucking earth. Yeah. The, the, the thing is, though, like, we know the DVs coming, and most of them are just Riku. Like, we already know Phoenix is like a total Riku fight. The one after that, I believe, was also Riku. So, like, in theory, all these cool elemental teams are an idea in reality yeah in reality it's just riku like for the next who knows how many months so it doesn't even matter it's just i guess pull for zach i guess he's the only only leader you care about if you want to do dark visions yeah you you get zach and then we hope that um uh what's her face bunny girl gets uh crowns uh sylvie esther oh it wouldn't even matter for a riku team no, but I'm thinking, you know, if you pull Zack, he's a lightning unit. You might want other lightning units. I'm assuming Esther is a lightning unit. Oh. I mean, I guess she could. I kind of doubt Esther's going to get any more. She already got a one big massive upgrade. I doubt she's going to get more. She's it's really weird, old. actually, they didn't do it for Easter now. Like, just a crown upgrade for her. Well, they, 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 they did it last year, remember? They, they, made her, they gave her a bunch of upgrades. Wait, she got upgrades. Oh, wait, she's more than a year old? Esther, she's like two years old. Yeah, no, she got compl- She got morale scaling. She got the the whole synergy with Sylvie stuff. Like oh, she got yeah, a bunch of true. stuff. Shit, she's that old. Oh my god, we need a pool cleaning <laughs> for MVs. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh yeah. my god. Oh Esther, god. Esther got like a huge upgrade, so I seriously doubt she's getting a second round of complete overhauls. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 Okay. I, I completely forgot about that. Like, I, I my my mind has been somewhere else entirely for the past months, for sure. <laughs> uh, although, like, having said that, you know, and and I see that there are some people dropping out of the game. Some people are kind of losing passion for it. I still want to say, like, FFB is still my go-to chill game when I actually do need to unwind because I had some crazy months uh, with a new job, like. You know, fucking 12 to 14 hour days, really doing the grind. But FFB, like, is the game. Like, when I collapse on the couch after a long day, it's it's like doing another DV run with fucking Riku. And don't you dare laugh, because that has been fun. I don't know. I, I'm, not the, I'm not a Riku fan. Like, I use her because... Oh, sorry, you're not Riku. I said Riku again, but I meant Roka. Oh, God, you and this Roka. Why? But that was even worse. <laughs> Uh, now, nah, but but I but I still enjoy this game. I, I still enjoy the game. I still enjoy doing content. I, I was I, I'm actually super thrilled that I actually missed the trial. Now I can go and do. And it sounded like a dark trial, so I'm gonna be bringing dark units to it. Yep, and now you can do the fire one uh, in four hours. Yeah, but I don't have any fire units though. Like, who is a fire unit? Uh, I mean, for me, we... I'm gonna use Ibarra. Oh wait, Tyvus should be good, right? No. Oh God, no. God damn it. No. He's, he's way too old. Okay, but do we have any other decent fire unit then? Uh, Ibarra. You've got Ibarra. Use her. You mean old Ibarra? Just, no, just imbue the new Ibarra. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah, but I mean, new Ibarra kind of is, is one of these OP units you can bring anywhere. But, but I was thinking, like, where, are there any real fire units? Scarlet Rain or Flaring Rain. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Fine, fine. All right, but I have to wrap up. I have to wrap up. But this was actually really good. Okay. I enjoyed chatting a bit about the game and getting back to an episode as well. I'm just really sad that Dream chose her better friends over us. How do you feel about that, Cesar? Do you feel betrayed? I feel completely dejected. Yeah. We're no longer friends. Yeah. Like, you know, everyone here, you know, just feel free to DM Dream and tell her how bad of a friend she is. Um... (laughs) Actually, don't do that. She's going to kill me. <laughs> um, but yeah, this, this is good. This is good. I, I, I am looking forward to the upcoming banners, honestly. I, I, am still, I still feel I have the hype for this game. And I can't believe you didn't even watch the news for Dwayne. That was the cool stuff to talk about. 
I didn't. I, I missed everything. I missed absolutely everything. Oh, and Neo just said, yeah, there is Sabin, actually. I have him at EX3. Uh, he's a fire unit. Is he, though? Is he? I mean, he is. Like, he has the 150 <laughs> amp. I, I guess, like, he would only work against Beast, right? Beast is his special LB increase. There is no Beast in the fire trial. Yeah, unfortunately. But hey, you can still bring him because you enjoy the unit. And he's probably uh, gonna do decent. I mean, damage. the trial is not that hard. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm making fun of saving but saving's bad. But if you really wanted to bring him, I'm sure he could definitely clear it. Because as long as you've got a 90 break, you can take pretty, pretty much uh, whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's see. All right. Thanks for chilling, Sinzar, and thanks for everyone that joined us live uh, to listen to this. Uh, sorry for the recording quality. We had to use Craig to record this episode. Uh, Craig is this bot that records a channel. Because uh, I didn't ha set up my audio yet. But thank you, Sinzar, for, you know, telling me more about the game that I've completely missed over the past <laughs> month. I am glad to help. All right. Thanks, everyone. And have a great day. Later.